Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest and it's first and ten interception if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers <laughs> Well, there's your answer, Bricks. First down in less than a year. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. This is really a violent game, guys. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. About a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third and four. The defender says, I don't think so. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod junkie. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, man, he really wants it. And it's...
It's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Feared a little Swedish midget lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and two. He is fighting for every yard. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport manager. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And another interception. This quarterback is going to look wow, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. another running back and only to remain on their roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball yeah like if they rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak tell us something we don't know genius first and eight to go and the back gets in there and swats the ball away he can't catch but he sure can swat and that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And a nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And that'll bring up third down and seven. They run it for a yard.
You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. Did the worms go to the bathroom, Grim? Or did they just grab dirt, you think? And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. And the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey. Less than a wife with a headache. Second down and six. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. First and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 20. And they're catching up. Joke, jump, do something. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yep. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. I will ask you to I will heal an old fellow. The burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense.
defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but the defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Crushed. Second down and two. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. First and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you... Sh I hope you covered your ears, Bridge. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Either way, they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know. What? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. for the first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, 
a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Man, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku! this they're going for two The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Walks the home to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the MFL winning it. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make it. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> the offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Ah, oh, he just got eaten. It reminds me of that, that song by the mutant men at work. That is far from the work down under. Uh, pretty sure those weren't the lyrics there, uh, Bricks. Pretty sure they weren't, Grim. Second down and ten. for a four-yard gain. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Third down and six. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cube. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The Cardinal Sins get crushed and lose by forfeit. Someone get more body bags. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any old butts involved. 
kind of like our butts, especially with some Bichon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.